What's happening, guys? Keith here with another Impact Wrestling review. So before we get into things, I just want to let you guys know that since we reached our 200 subscriber mark, I am giving away an Impact Wrestling autograph. Um, you guys can check that out by clicking the link above my head. Um, I will be doing the drawing during the review of the Redemption pay-per-view, so... Let's get into things. So, another solid episode of Impact tonight. Um, I thought top to bottom was a pretty good show. Um, I expect the numbers to drop a little this week, considering how much wrestling is going on with WrestleCon and everything like that. So, But, like, like I said, a solid show. So, we open the show with Bobby Lashley. He comes out and says that every time someone new comes to Impact Wrestling, they have to come, come after me. Uh, he says that Cage got a fluke victory last week, and he hasn't made a name for himself yet. He says if he can beat him again, he's somebody. Bobby Lashley will make you famous, Is that what, that's what he said. So he calls Brian Cage out. Cage comes out, you know, walks down the ramp, up to ringside, goes on the apron, You know, does his little taunt, and, and then uh, he gets attacked from behind by Lashley. We have a referee in the ring, so... We get a match between the two of them, so we get a rematch from last week. Um, I think last week's match was the better of the two. Um, they didn't give this one as much time as they did last week, um, but you know they, they they did what they set out to do, and that's show Brian Cage's strength and dominance. Um, so Lashley had actually low blowed Brian Cage behind the referee's back, so he got the advantage for a while. They battled to the outside. Um, Cage body slammed Lashley on the entrance ramp. Action goes back into the ring. Um, Cage deadlift suplex Lashley from the apron into the ring. Um, they battle back and forth for a bit. Uh, Lashley goes, I mean, I'm sorry, Cage goes for the drill claw, Lashley's able to reverse it, Lashley hits a spear, Cage kicks out, and then shortly thereafter, Cage puts away Lashley with the drill claw. So, he beat him twice. Um, I think this might be the last time we see Lashley in Impact Wrestling. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think this might be it. So, we head back to the virtual studio with Sanjay and Josh Matthews and they give us a recap of the Lashley and Cage match and then they hype the rest of the show. We head back to the Impact Zone and we are going to get Allie calling out Sue Young. So she comes out, grabs the microphone, says that last week Sue Young jumped her from behind like a coward and then, you know, she goes through the whole thing of I was scared of monsters but now I'm not and she tells her to get her ass out here. So, Sue Young comes out, same thing that happened with Brian Cage, has her back turn, Allie attacks her right away, we have an official in the ring, so we get another match. Um, for for what we got, they put on a decent match here, I think, uh, well, I'll get into it, uh, we had a couple good spots here, uh, Sue Young hit a draping pedigree, uh, Braxton Sutter made his presence known, Allie is able to hit a code breaker. Sue Young kicks out of that. She sold the hell out of it, just right down. Um, Allie sets up for the super kick. Braxton Sutter holds her leg. At this point, Sue Young goes and grabs the kendo stick, pushes the referee out of the way, nails Allie with the kendo stick. She gets herself disqualified, and then she uh, kind of beats. Allie down with the kendo stick and then chokes her out with it. So, like I said, for what we saw, I, I liked it. I'm, I'm glad they didn't. we didn't get a finish to a match here. Obviously, that's not how you build a feud. Um, but I would assume this match will probably go into redemption. Uh, but from what I saw, I enjoyed it. Um, interested to see where it goes. Interested to know what the deal with Braxton Sutter is because we have not heard why he's with Sue Young, or if he's even with Sue Young, he just always seems to show up where she is. Um, we go backstage, and Rosemary tells us that next week we will take a family trip down to the or down the road of Valhalla, um, and she challenges her to a match next week. A little later on, we hear that it will be Rosemary versus Taya in a demons dance match next week. 
Not sure what that entails, but it's Taya versus Rosemary. Sign me up. So Mackenzie is interviewing Matt Seidel and Josh Matthews backstage. Seidel says that last week, Petey Williams brought bad vibes, causing him to lose. Uh, Josh Matthews then speaks about his disdain of Austin Aries, and Matthews then challenges Petey Williams to a match next week. Um, yeah, so that's going to happen. Uh, I don't know if we're going to continuously go back and forth with Matthews being a commentator and an on-screen personality, or if, you know, what we were originally told is that he was going to be moved away from the broadcast uh, booth, but I guess with maybe the absence of Borash, they've kind of held it off. I would assume probably Redemption, we will have another announcer with uh, Sanjay if they decide to go that route. But So, last week we had that KM versus Falaba match at, I think it was Russell Pro, and after the match, KM kind of I forget exactly what he said, but he made some sort of fat joke to uh, to Ba, and uh, coincidentally, it played a factor in this week's impact. So, you know, I mean, I guess it did make sense for it to be on the show last week. So, we go backstage, and KM tells Richard Justice that he has a match next, and he sends him out. We go to commercial at this point. So we come back from commercial, and Dick Justice is in the ring, um, KM comes out with the microphone in hand, and he says that Justice is a fat, disgusting disgrace to the wrestling business. And then he constantly tells, or goes on and tells a bunch of fat jokes, and uh, he says that he's just going to get to the punchline and lays him out. Now, I was like, really? This, this is where you guys are going with this? Um, I've spoke out against uh, the whole... Nia Jax, Alexa Bliss feud that's going on in WWE right now where they're pretty much using the same thing and the whole thing's been based around Alexa fat shaming her and just shaming her because she's different and I was really disappointed at this point I was like you guys are really going to go through this as well but out comes Falaba he lays out KM the Cult of Lee come out they beat down Falaba and Dick Justice then Tyrus comes down Clears the ring. Tyrus grabs the microphone, says he doesn't like shaming, and says that bullies usually have more problems than the victims. Tyrus then runs the three of them down. He had a bunch of jokes with a kid in the crowd. And then later on it was announced that next week we will have a six-man tag between these six men. Um, that's one thing they didn't do in WWE is, you know, granted Nia can easily take care of herself much like these guys, but nobody came to her aid in the thing. I don't know. It was just something I liked that Impact did, so good for them. Um, we go backstage, and Mackenzie's interviewing Eli Drake about his match tonight. Winner take all, both briefcases. He says that he will take the world title and then win the tag titles by himself. He will be swimming in gold like Scrooge McDuck. Ah, Eli. Can't go wrong with him. So up next, we have the Taiji Ishimori versus Johnny Impact match. Um, yeah, th this is what was expected. We, we knew these guys were going to put on a good match. Uh, they start off with a handshake, you know, get clapping, try to get the crowd into it. But uh, like I said, this was a fun match. Really good back and forth action. Um, crowd was really getting into it at times. You know, 50-50 chance for Ishimori, chance for Johnny Impact. But uh, Ishimori heads up top for the 450 splash. He misses. Johnny Impact hits a springboard kick and then hits Starship Pain for the victory. So uh, at this point, Johnny was, you know, about to help Ishimori up. And Jacobs and Kongo Kong come out. Uh, Jacobs sends Kong after Impact. Kong knocks Impact onto the apron, uh, then beats him down outside the ring. I think he threw him into the steps, and he throws him back in the ring. Kong gets up on the apron. Uh, Impact hits a springboard kick. Kong goes to the outside, and then Impact hits a corkscrew, screw, corkscrew suicide dive. Um, at this point, Impact gets in the ring. Uh, Jimmy Jacobs kind of like holds Kongo Kong off, and they just stare each other down. So for what it was, it was it was pretty good. Um, interested to see where they're going to go with this. Um, but 
if anybody can get a good match out of Kong, it will be Johnny Impact. Um, so up next, we have the Austin Aries and Alberto El Patron video package. And, you know, I, I really got to give Impact some credit here. They, uh, they did a really good job with this video. It felt real, like they, both men had reasons for wanting the world title or being champion. Um, it wasn't your typical cookie-cutter video package. I mean, they even brought up Alberto's suspension and talked a little about that. Um, but like I said, it just gave us a real look into the feud, and you know, it did its job. It got me invested in the match. I'm interested to see it. Um, I... I do have this feeling in the back of my head that, you know, with the name Redemption, that Alberto El Patron may come out with the championship, which a lot of people aren't on board with, but we will see. I've been wrong before. So we go backstage, and Mackenzie is interviewing Moose. Uh, Moose says he doesn't have to worry about anyone, especially Eli Drake. He says after tonight he will get a world title shot and tag title shot whenever he wants. Then we get the Global Wrestling Network Rewind. It was Jay Lethal versus Kurt Angle in one of the biggest upsets. Um, this probably lasted close to five minutes, I want to say. But, uh, I mean, it was enjoyable, so I can't really crap on it this week. But, uh, yeah, it, it was long. Then we go to LAX's hideout, and they've got their eye on the main event tonight. But they said it doesn't matter because they always come out on top regardless of who they were facing. And they run down all the teams that they've beaten. And that brings us to the main event um, with Moose versus Eli Drake. Briefcase versus briefcase. But uh, these two put on a good match. Definitely a good main event. Uh, both men, I would say it was a pretty even match. That Each one getting offense in at periods of a time. Uh, Moose was in control late in the match. He goes for the game changer. Eli Drake ducks. He takes out the referee. Um, OVE come out. They go after Moose, which we saw in the past that they were going to take out friends of Eddie Edwards as well, um, which brings Edwards out. He takes out Callahan. They fight to the back. Um, Moose beats up both Chris brothers. Eli ends up f picking up Sammy's bat beating Moose with it. Moose goes down. Referee starts to come to. Eli Drake pins Moose. We get a near fall. Two count. Um, and then Eli is able to hit the gravy train and wins. Now he is holding both cases. So that is interesting. And uh, I really like this as, I mean, I don't know if it's going to stand due to the shenanigans. I hope it does because I feel like, you know, the way he was kind of treated when he lost the title, like I have nothing against Aries, and I understand why they did it, but I just, I was really behind Drake. Um, he was one of the big reasons that I got back into Impact Wrestling, actually. Um, but no, this, this show went by pretty quick. Um, one thing I really do enjoy about Impact shows is that we're not really left with long segments that just kind of make you feel like, ugh. Is this over yet? Their interviews are generally pretty quick. Um, and then they have segment after segment, bang, 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 just, you know, getting guys out there. Um, but, yeah, that was my Impact Wrestling review. Um, there will be no Impact Report this weekend as I have so much wrestling to get, <laughs> just watch. Um, I may do a Impact review tomorrow, or well, probably Saturday, of Impact Wrestling vs. Lucha Underground, as that is going to be fantastic. And until next time, thanks for checking out the video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.